and I think three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. Time's up. So I'm the Earth, as you see. So I've been a little upset lately because of the ozone hole. So mind of you, mind of you don't know what is the ozone layer. But you will learn it in this video. Watch this video to the end. Let's get started. So, what is ozone layer? Ozone layer is a part of the Earth's atmosphere and which contains relatively high concentration with ozone gas, which contains chemical formula O3. So, how is ozone layer created? Imagine this is my ozone layer. So, how is ozone layer created? Look at the sun. When the sun rays split uh, oxygen molecules into single atoms, the these single atoms combined with other nearby oxygen to make a three molecule atom. So it, this keeps happening again and again, then they all combine together and make the ozone layer. So who discovered ozone layer? A French physicist named Charles Fabry and Henry Bushen in 1913. But you can also say 1930. Why is ozone layer important? Is there, like, imagine now there's no ozone layer, okay? If there's no ozone layer, humans will be way more susceptible to getting bad diseases like skin cancer, can cataracts, and Lastly, damage the immune system. My, a lot of people don't know what are cataracts. Cataracts are a kind of eye disease. Yeah. So, also, it will kill all plants. Nor can platinum, nor can platinum serve themselves as food for most of the ocean life. So, there are some harmful rays that come from the sun called ultraviolet rays, UV rays for short. So these ultraviolet rays, what makes all these bad things happen? So that's why I need an ozone layer. Ozone layer like this. So I can be protected and shield all the humans on my planet. for you and this is the last thing I'm gonna offer for you to keep the planet safe the plan that we all live on number one don't buy toxic products buy only original and fresh things because these toxic products can harm the ozone layer see this it can harm this Number two, try minimizing the use of cars because you know when you drive a car, there's some smoke coming out of it. So it goes up into the air until it reaches the ozone layer. So it could make a hole in the ozone layer. Try to minimize the use of cars. Okay, so you may ask, well, what should I ride then? You should try riding a bike a bicycle or walk on foot and also if you have a refrigerator fridge or an AC that's older than 20 years you should dispose it very properly and try consider getting a new one and avoid using 
dangerous gases like CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. That's the CFC is the short for chlorofluorocarbons. So don't use these dangerous gases. They are very harmful for the ozone layer. That's all I have for you to for for. That's all I have for you today, my humans. See you in next time, inshallah. Bye.